When irrigating the nasogastric tube, follow these steps. Cleanse or cover a work surface. Place a linen saver pad on the bed under the NG tube. Open the irrigation set and pour irrigant into the container. Place the patient at a 30 to 45 degree elevation if not contraindicated. Don clean procedure gloves. Check for correct placement of the NG tube using at least two bedside methods. For example, observe visual characteristics of aspirate. Measure pH and observe for a change in length of the external portion of the tube. Fill the syringe with 10 to 20 milliliters of irrigant and lay it on the linen saver pad. Clamp the NG tube or turn off the stopcock connecting to the suction tubing. Then disconnect the NG tube from the suction tubing. Hold the drainage tubing up until suction clears it. Then lay it on the linen saver pad or hook it over the suction machine. Turn off the suction machine. Unclamp the NG tube or turn on the stopcock. Unpin the NG tube or remove tape from the patient's clothing. Attach the syringe and instill the irrigant slowly into the NG tube. Do not force the solution. Be careful not to instill fluid into the air vent. Lower the end of the NG tube and then release the syringe bulb or, depending on the type of syringe, pull back the plunger to withdraw fluid. Instill and withdraw until fluid flows in and out freely. For a double lumen NG tube, draw 30 milliliters of air into the syringe and inject it into the pigtail, the smaller bore tube. Follow agency policy for this. Reclamp the NG tube or turn off the stopcock. Reconnect the NG tube to the suction tube, then release the clamp or turn on the stopcock. Reattach the NG tube to the patient's clothing with a pin or tape. Provide any comfort measures, such as mouth care. Then remove and discard gloves and perform hand hygiene. When you finish the procedure, remember the universal steps that apply after all procedures. For example, leave the patient in a safe, comfortable position with the call device in easy reach. Sometimes there are special situations that you will encounter during the procedure. What if resistance is met when you irrigate the NG tube? Check the tubing for kinks or obstruction. Have the patient turn to her left side. Do not force against resistance. What if the NG tube does not drain? Check tubing for kinks or blockage. Check the suction apparatus. If the collection container is higher than the patient's abdomen, lower it. If these aspects are working properly and you have irrigated the tube, and if the patient is uncomfortable, document and notify the primary care provider. Encourage the patient to relax and breathe slowly through her nose. If there is abdominal distension, pain, or vomiting, notify the care provider immediately.